on trading that that if you observe very carefully the the point which you written sir highly reactive everything it is that not, not a valid point why is sodium kept immersed in a corrosion sodium or potassium sodium or potassium is highly reactive with uh, uh, reactive which react with what everybody which react with the uh, air and, and as well as moisture even at what temperature even at room temperature understanding all of you uh, room temperature and it will form what react with the moisture it will form something it will form oxides and respond ra oxides Hydrogen. and hydroxide so that is why and if you notice it it won't dissolve in uh, it won't dissolve corrosion if you notice it the corrosion cannot dissolve oxygen and moisture in it so that is the reason it is protected in corrosion so it is there clearly in the book also so i think uh, page number anybody yes i found anyone only ma all of you at least meet yourself omar now you can see here it is kept they are kept immersed in corrosion oil at ordinary temperature the surface of here see that so they will vigorously they catch the fire even kept in open hence they protect them and prevent accidental fires they have been kept what metal such as potassium and sodium react so vigorously they can they can catch the fire if they kept it open so this is also even is a theoretical answer only there is no technical answer so what is the technical answer they will react with the air and moisture and they will form oxides and oxides and hydroxides and corrosion cannot dissolve oxygen corrosion cannot dissolve oxygen and moisture so that we can store under the corrosion next right equations for the reaction of iron with the steam anybody very popular equation check it everybody we have studied that iron with the steam guys steam yes please don't know f e plus h2 H2O. yes steam H2O. steam means it is gas so this is metal yeah, what is the products please Fe3O4 iron 23 oxide plus hydrogen balance the equation only 2 seconds time make it fast balancing equation please balance equation 3Fe plus 4H2O re how many times i told you that equation is very important please learn and Fe3O4 plus 4H2 that is the reason i said and do you remember that this equation nowhere they discuss it in the teaching time have you remember all of you in the entire textbook so only they said that iron fillings are more reactive where they said that is also iron won't even extremely high temperature iron won't catch fire but iron fillings they will burn very fastly am i right or wrong everybody yes please here we have studied that so you can see iron does not burn even on heating extremely high temperature but iron fillings burn vigorously when sprinkled in the flame of the burner but there is no equation in that but the equation will ask in the question so you cannot say that so but we have studied or not already the popular equation it is most important equation please learn what is the name of this equation uh, the product name anybody can tell all of you name of the product please ferric oxide nobody is saying that is only very very sir iron 23 oxide yes iron 23 iron 23 oxide that is a name we can call it common name anybody can say common name please magnetite sir magnetite that is what i want it okay and i forgot to tell you from the reactivity series i told you the cbq question yeah please let me finish that first and then we'll come back here cbq question they will ask you for example let me choose mr omar omar are there omar please respond me so suppose they will say mr omar visited yes, the lab mr omar write the cbq question okay they will ask you the question like this yes, mr sir. omar 
Mr. Warmer visited the chemistry lab and he identified the two metals who is reactive more than one another. Who is reactive more than one another. Understanding? So down, four options, MCQs. He identified that one metal is more reactive than what? Everybody? One metal is more reactive than what? All of you. Please respond. One metal is more reactive than other. And he, Another metal. That, and he noticed that one metal has valency is one and another metal has valency is how much? Speak. Another metal has valency is how much? Two. Then identify the metals. Option A. Option A. Potassium and magnesium. Option B. Okay. Option B, you can check it. Magnesium and mercury. Option C. Iron and sodium. Option D. You can take aluminium and potassium. So what is the option? Anybody? Option A. One is more reactive. Another one is less reactive. So identify the pair of metals. Mr. Omar has noticed that when he visited the chemistry lab, he identified that one metal is reacting more faster than another metal and he find the reason that the metal which is reacting more has less valency than the metal who is reacting faster. That's the tendency. Then identify the pair which is more reactive, which is less reactive. Anybody? So, option A. Option A. So only option A. Why can't option C? Option C has balance it 2 and 1 only, correct? But the mismatched pair. First okay. here, less reactive coming, more reactive next coming. But here, what is that? More reactive and next one is what? Less reactive. And here, both are both are less reactive only. And here also, both are, of course, it is more reactive, but valency is 3, valency is 1. Here, magnesium valency is 2, mercury valency is 1. Okay, sorry, two. So both are. So what is the correct option? Option A. So please okay. remember that. Many questions they will ask you from the metal activity series. Okay, like that. Next, nothing is there. CBQ means don't think that something very creative. They will add the names. That's all. Nothing they will do it. Okay, next. Calcium and potassium with the water. Write it, guys. Calcium and potassium. Check it. They will react with the what water? Cold water, hot water. That is very important. Cold water or hot water, guys? Cold water, sir. Cold water. Cold Why? Water. They are more reactive metals or less reactive metals? More reactive more metals. Reactive metals. You, even you can mention, this is wrong question. This is not even a specific question. This is generalized question. Calcium and potassium, particularly, they will react with what water? Everybody. They will react with the cold mm. water. Understanding about so, potassium. First, let me write calcium. Calcium equations so long falsely. Calcium equations. Calcium react with the water. What will happen? Calcium yes, react with the cold water. Of course, calcium react with the water at room temperature to form calcium hydroxide. But the heat is evolved in this reaction is less. So that is why it less vigorous. So hydrogen cannot catch fire in this equation. Am I right or wrong? Check your notebooks. We have written or not. The heat which is released in this equation is not sufficient to catch the fire by the hydrogen. Am I right or wrong? Everybody? Yes. yes sir. That is what. Yes. So balanced equation. Is it balanced or not verified? I think 2H2O. Next, potassium. Potassium they are asking. A potassium equation tell me. So K plus H2O, cold water. Cold water, which will give you KOH plus next what? Hydrogen gas plus extremely high heat energy. Balance it. 2K plus 2H2O gives you 2KOH aqueous state. Every state is mentioned plus hydrogen gas. That is what it is. So remember, this, this tabular column you see, you can answer it. Potassium react with the cold water. Calcium react with the moderately with the cold water. Potassium and sodium, they will catch burning because the heat energy which is released by them is sufficient to catch what? 
catch fire by what guys catch fire by hydrogen hydrogen but calcium also it will react with room temperature but it will release less heat energy compared to sodium and potassium so that hydrogen won't catch the fire that's all without a question from this no question paper they will be set next this is the most important question let me see who will answer very carefully and how many how many of you already answered i don't know any of you already answered this question mr sanjay kanan omar nimesh i want to know omar hari vignesh yes please so observe samples of four metals a b c d were taken and added to the following solution one by one the results obtained have been tabulated as follows be very careful unless you know the metal activity series it is impossible to answer this question okay so now they are saying totally four solutions what are the solutions chemical names tell me first they they, they are saying just simple uh, uh, names chemical names tell me feso4 this one all of you copper sulfate cuso4 zinc sulfate znso4 silver nitrate silver nitrate formula anybody ag agno3 agno3 no that itself first of all you identify iron copper zinc and silver who is more reactive who is less reactive make it fast zinc is more reactive than iron iron is more reactive than copper copper is more reactive than silver am i right or wrong everyone verify yes sir yes so check it if you know this one you can make it first one all of you no reaction okay sample of four metals a b c d were taken and added to the following solution one by one the results obtained have been tabulated as follows be very careful check it everybody iron 2 sulfate if i add it to that no reaction means the metal a is less reactive than iron sulfate iron are more reactive than iron iron what to the discuss everybody less reactive sir less reactive yes, sir. Than iron. okay next displacement of copper so that it is more reactive than iron or less reactive than iron more reactive Yes. anybody having any doubt small doubt also ask me don't go for the questions unless you understand the paragraph check it everybody iron no reaction so that i can conclude it is less reactive than that next copper it is displacement so that more reactive next zinc all of you check it zinc is more reactive than iron so that is it possible here also what will happen anybody no reaction no reaction next silver it is displacing the silver so means in the sense of it can also displace what it can also displace what respond ra it can also displace silver, the silver am i right or wrong all of you yes please it may be anything okay so that is what we have to remember here also displacement reaction will takes place because copper and silver are least reactive next displacement is taking place means definitely it is more reactive than Yes, please. Yeah. A is more reactive than whom? Iron. Iron. Okay. Next, it is already more reactive than iron. Means definitely it will displace what? Definitely it will displace what, guys? Copper. Ah, uh, copper. But no reaction with the zinc. Means in the sense of what? No reaction. No reaction. Definitely all the four metals. Given four metals are less reactive than zinc or more reactive than zinc. Anybody? Less reactive. less reactive than zinc understanding everyone that is the first conclusion you have to make it next in the given three metals in the given four metals three metals cannot able to displace iron so means a c d they are less reactive than iron or more reactive than iron anybody please respond less a c d are less reactive than iron one and only metal which is more reactive than iron who is that everybody speak b, b. okay b. next copper copper to sulfate no reaction no reaction means definitely c and d are less reactive than copper or more reactive than copper c and d less, 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 reactive, less reactive than copper zinc zinc no metal can displace all are less reactive next 
even silver cannot be displaced means in the sense of d metal is less reactive than it or more reactive than it. less reactive less less than, that is what that is what is analysis simplest way a b c you can see b can displace iron copper two sulfate c and d cannot displace uh, copper zinc nothing can be displaced silver d alone cannot be displaced now you can answer the question very simple use the table above to answer the following questions about the metals a b c d remember this one zinc is more reactive than iron is more reactive than copper is more reactive than silver now first question which is the most reactive metal in that see no metal can displace zinc but there is a metal who can displace iron then we, who is more reactive anybody metal b metal b metal. understanding all of you that is only the answer so now see option a answer on the basis of observation we observe that copper copper is displaced by a am i right or wrong everybody yes or no yes please respond please. and yes. iron is displaced by what iron is displaced by what metal yes. b metal b and silver is displaced by what silver is displaced metal by c. what metal c so yeah. which is the most reactive one anybody can tell which is the most reactive one who is see forgot zinc is gone zinc is no more understand mitakshri how fast you can answer yes, see, it may take time now when i am explaining for you but if you observe an exam it's very simple so zinc is no more because zinc is not present in our thing but remaining metals who is more reactive iron copper and what is that silver am i right or wrong so in that iron can be displaced by only metal b so that who is more reactive everybody metal b metal b that's all all of you understand arish clear that's yes sir all. what would you observe if b is added to a solution of copper to sulfate anybody see it is displacing iron itself means in a sense of it cannot displace the it cannot displace the copper it is displacing iron itself do you think that it won't displace the copper it can displace it can displace so that it can displace so displacement means there is a change how you can notice either displacement reaction takes place or not by observing the change in color change in color. change in color clear everybody change color so please that is answer when metal b is added in copper sulfate solution the blue color who is having blue color who is having copper blue sulfate. color copper sulfate. copper sulfate so copper sulfate, sulfate. 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 color blue color faded and b displaces copper from copper sulfate so because b is more reactive than copper because it is already more reactive than iron so that definitely it is more reactive than what everybody yes please b is more reactive than iron and more reactive than copper and more reactive than yes please silver is it okay arish but it is less reactive than what less reactive than less reactive than what ra zinc yes or no that is what next arrange the metals a b c d in the order of decreasing reactivity sollunga tammi everybody how do you can arrange order of reactivity please b is more reactive next one see that yes next who else a. yeah b how you can see because a can displace copper so that definitely it is less reactive than b but more reactive than a am i right guys everybody yes please next c can displace the silver but cannot displace the copper to sulfate then what will happen c will come even d cannot displace anything so that it is a least reactive will you all agree with me please respond yes sir yes yes sir so can you tell me what is the metals can you guess it what is this metals the sir, order of metal b is gold b is what b b is b is zinc yeah b displaces iron a displaces copper c displaces silver but d cannot displace anybody so that is what so we can say this is the order please write it b is greater than iron 
iron is greater than copper copper is greater than silver so that is the order we should write it we don't know the b clear everyone understanding amma and here the basic common mistake which is done by you people is you try to identify the metals please don't do if you do that it is mistake understand me takshri finally mainly i am saying those who are those who knows very well if you identify the metals you are doing mistake you are not supposed to mark the metals understand harish unless they ask if they ask you identify b identify a identify c name the metal name metal a name metal b then only you should go it clear amma everybody all of you so unless yes, they ask you name the metal please don't do it if they are asking a b c d use only a b c d third question what is answer b greater than a a greater than c c greater than d why i can say d last very simple no reaction no reaction no reaction no reaction least c only can displace this one so that next a can displace what a can displace two what is that a can displace copper also a can displace yes, this one yes. understanding so that that is b b can displace everything except what except zinc it can displace everything am okay. i right or wrong all of you clear yes or no all of that is yes, what sir. okay so please yes, after this question i hope you all understand i am expecting so this much clearly i am saying so still you have doubt you can ask me next which gas is produced when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to a reactive metal write a chemical reaction when iron reacts with the dilute h2so4 fastly iron reacting guys again same feso4 sir f is reacting with h2so4 dilute dilute you see what guys feso4 plus what hydrogen gas clear everybody metal react with acids one and only gas will come what is the gas hydrogen gas it's it next what would you observe when zinc is added to a solution of iron 3 sulfate zinc is more reactive than iron or less reactive than iron check it everybody more reactive than more reactive. iron so that reaction will takes place or not everybody yes. carry it out so zinc yes. is reacting with the salt solution what is the salt solution feso4 okay so check it who is the free metal free metal is zinc and the combined metal is what cation who is the cation iron so that it will be mm. reaction carried out so we'll get what everybody zinc sulfate plus yes bra zinc sulfate plus iron understanding all of you so because zinc is more reactive than iron okay this is only example best example for what best example for redox reactions okay so please learn everything so answer this all the questions till here everybody learn then whatever it is almost how many pages 10 pages are there then from here another level concepts how do metals and non metals reacts and all you will get covalent compounds ionic compounds properties and all most important concepts will come and then only this and all very very important formation of compounds and all so next half of the chapter is extremely very important mainly for occurrence of metals extraction of and all 100% they will ask you the question so hardly by this month end we will complete this chapter so that almost 70% of chemistry syllabus also will over physics already over chemistry is also going to over then biology will go with that and we'll try to finish hardly by end of august or september first or september to middle entire syllabus we have to complete it okay so please get back to work now start reading from page 1 to page 10 you have a time now i am suggesting you that you have to follow it there is no way sit one hour after 6:30 you start sit one hour and you finish the 10 pages what the questions in text questions what we studied everything you try to answer it and finish it then you plan it 